President Muhammadu Buhari is reportedly concerned about the spate of killings in the country and is prepared to take any step to put an end to them. This position was contained in a statement issued by Garbishu, the senior special assistant to the president on media and publicity, on Tuesday, January 9. She wrote that it was unfortunate that some persons were pointing accusing fingers at the president while others saw it only from a religious perspective. He insisted that the problems were much deeper than that but assured that President Buhari was taking steps for short and long-term solutions to those problems. Read full statement below. To find short-term and long-term solutions to frequent conflicts between farmers and cattle rearers, the presidency is coming up with a conference of stakeholders on infrastructural and agricultural development to put in place a plan for immediate relief and long-term plan for the expansion of agriculture in the country. The conference will tap into experiences and best practices to draw up a planned development 20-30 years ahead based on population and development projections and will take into consideration environmental impacts. President Muhammadu Buhari has been concerned about these conflicts each time he received those very gruesome pictures of mayhem from several parts of the country, especially as it affected Benuent neighboring states. He is equally worried about some public pronouncements and finger-pointing that are, in most cases very unhelpful to peaceful coexistence of our diverse peoples. The president is conscious of his duty to Nigerians, not least because he is held accountable for everything that goes wrong. He deeply sympathizes with the families and all the other direct and indirect victims of this violence. He is determined to bring it to a permanent end. While there are many Nigerians who see the conflict between the nomadic herdsmen and peasant farmers as an ethnic problem, others point to religious differences and agenda. The president does not subscribe to such simplistic reductionism. President Buhari holds the view, as do many experts, that these conflicts are more often than not, as a result of major demographic changes in Nigeria. When Nigeria attained independence, the population of the country was estimated at about 63 million. Today the population is estimated at close to 200 million, while the land size has not changed and will not change. Urban sprawl and development have simply reduced land area both for peasant farming and cattle grazing. It is therefore both unfair and unkind, for anyone to keep insinuating that the president is condoning the spate of killings in Benue and other neighboring states. President Buhari has publicly condemned the violence at every turn. He is prepared to permit every possible step that can lead to the stoppage of the killings. It is on account of this he brushed aside an opinion that the federal government should challenge the constitutionality of the anti-open grazing bill. He wanted to give a chance to the state government to succeed in stopping the senseless killings. It will be recalled that as he did in dealing with the Boko Haram insurgency in northeast Nigeria, which required sustained action from the government before it was finally curtailed, President Buhari gave the relevant mandates to the country's security agencies to put a stop to the Bin killings. The killings must stop and the security agencies have the president's support to do this as quickly as possible. Whipping up hate may captivate the public and score political points on social media, but it will not bring an end to the crisis. Let every stakeholder instead sit down with the government and security forces and carry everyone along in finding an all-embracing solution. As a father, a military general and a statesman, President Buhari has maintained lasting relationships with Nigerians, Muslims and Christians among every ethnic group. 
It is also a known fact that the young people who trek the whole distance of thousands of kilometers tending the cattle do not own the cattle. In fact many of the cattle are not owned by Fulanis or Muslims. The point is that it is too simplistic to see the conflict as ethnic or religious. The president seeks the support and cooperation of all citizens and the media in particular, to join hands with his administration to find permanent solutions and not to aggravate or escalate tensions in all conflict areas of the country. Meanwhile, Bun state governor, Samuel Ortom, reacted to media reports linking his government to a militia group operating at Arafu, a town between Bun and Daraba states. The governor refuted the reports in a statement sent to WE by his spokesman, Tervur Akaz, on Tuesday, January 9. The state government said it has neither recruited nor armed any militia group.